Hey guys, what is going on? It's Matt and Vinny here today. I'm going to be gemming a few things such as the X bows and the army camps and the gems are sponsored by Free My Apps. It's a service I've been using for over a year now, getting free gems all the time. And the way you guys can do that is go to bit.ly forward slash Madden gems. Make sure the M and the G are capitalized. Guys, this gives me 200 credits every time you use the link and then you guys can get credits and get free gift cards. In no way, shape, or form you have to do this, but I thought I should share it with you since who doesn't like getting free gems? And there we go, we got the final army cam gemmed up, and now let's go ahead and do a few raids. Here's our first one, we have Hard Knocks from Swiss Boss. It's got an interesting base, uh, as you see one of the Inferno Towers are out of juice, and there's a few Christmas presents as well as tombstones around the base indicating that the guy has been either offline for a little bit, since he has a leak, he probably hasn't been offline for too long, but uh, you know what, all of that gives us an edge to attacking this one. Um, and I've kind of wanted to learn out the heroes first, um, just waiting for him to uh, get into position and there we go we're gonna start by deploying a few archers and then what I do is I deploy all the witches um, not always all of them but in this case I did all of them and pretty much the skeletons are gonna take the heroes out uh, we haven't tried the clan castle yet we'll see how that goes uh, probably no clan castle troops because once again it doesn't look like the guy has been active for the past probably 24 hours uh, the thing with the golems on this one is now I learned to deploy one golem at a time because usually what happens is the golems get distracted about the defenses outside of the base. Um, but the heroes you definitely want to go uh, with last. Some strategies use them as first uh, troops to go in, but I use them as last as a final thing to take out the town hall. So we do have a great path to the center now. We have all the walls broken. The heroes are going to go to the center. They're not going to be stupid, they're not going to go around that section, they're going to go directly to the center. The thing is I forgot, I look at this point, I'm like, where are my spells? And yep, I forgot spells on this one, but I think we're going to be good to go because we have a bar Barbarian King, the Archer Queen, uh, a few witches coming over to the Town Hall, so that should be taken care of. And now all we have to do is just wait for the 50% to come. Uh, if you're wondering why this is a replay and not like a live raid, because I've been using my iPad and uh, unfortunately the iPad doesn't have that great of a quality uh, as this method does. Uh, I use a capture card that's a very high quality capture card to uh, capture from my Galaxy Note 3 and it just provides a very good quality so if it's a replay that means I've been raiding on my iPad and now I'm doing a replay on my Galaxy. Okay so we got over 50%, we should be good to go. I thought to leave the heroes to go for a little bit. I know the Baron King is out. I'm just looking at the Archer Queen and watching to make sure she doesn't get hit too many times. And uh, once I see that she's probably gonna get hit, I go ahead and cut the battle because I wanna go ahead and save her health for one of the next raids. That's gonna give us 10 trophies, 79%, and almost 3,000 Dark Elixir, which is pretty nice. All right, so here's our next raid. It is iPhone PR, Piranha's Clan. Got a pretty good uh, loot there that we can take. We'll see if we can take most of it. I'm sure we're going to take out the four bottom storages here. Probably not going to get to Dark Elixir, but we'll see how this goes. Uh, first of all, we're going to take out some buildings on the outside. I don't think I've checked for Clan Castle. Uh, I don't think that's too important right now. And uh, let's go ahead and deploy some wall breakers here and there. There's a lot of walls to break, but I think I have plenty of them to do so. And there we go. We're already at the center core. Uh, one thing that might be an issue on this one is that there are so many sections open, our heroes and witches might not go the right way, and we'll see how that one goes. Hopefully they'll go to the center, but that's not always the case, and uh, as you already see, the Barbarian King is heading way off uh, his main target, and that's not good. Uh, I placed a Rage Spell there for him to move a little bit faster, because we definitely want um, you know him to get to the center. The Golems also... Uh, they're not really doing a great job there. They're going for a Tesla that's not even active. And now the Bavarian King is the only troop, or the only hero on the inside of the base. Uh, where is the Archer Queen? I, I don't think I'm even keeping track of her. Uh, do I even have her on this raid? Probably not. Alright, but anyways, it looks like the Town Hall is down. Let's try to get 50%. And I think this is one of those really super close raids, so we'll see how this one goes. Um, we have a few skeletons on the outside of the base taking out... Uh, the barracks, 41% uh, looks like uh, some archers on the bottom taking out the dark barracks, 42% uh, looks like, yeah, this is going to be a pretty close one. Um, 
The witch just took out the gold mine. That's gonna give us 45%. Ooh, this is getting pretty close. Uh, that dark barrack just went down. I don't even think they give us a percentage, to be honest. Okay, uh, now we have 47%. I do have a lightning spell left over that I can use on the um, the Barbarian King Altar. Uh, I think I'm gonna do that. There we go. We're gonna get 49%, and unfortunately, I'm out of archers. Wow, we don't get that extra star, so that's only five trophies instead of ten, and not so much dark elixir as I said, but a little bit of golden elixir. Okay, so here's the next base. Very interesting design. It's gonna cause a few issues with the wall breakers because of those uh, jagged edges on the outside of the base. Uh, wall breakers don't really like that. They kind of something has decided to go for one corner, then they go for the other, and then they go for the next one. So uh, something I'm doing here is I'm using a wall breaker to lure out the clan castle. And the reason is uh, the archer uh, the archers, they would have been too far away from the clan castle to uh, get the uh, troops inside triggered. And now we have them all right there. I can go ahead and use a lightning strike, a lightning spell, whatever you want to call it. And uh, unfortunately, we're not going to have all the wizards go down because they're level 6. I think I still have a level 5 um, lightning spell. I should probably make it go to level 6. Uh, maybe we'll do that in a future episode. All right. But for now, it looks like the skeletons took out the rest of the clan castle troops super easily. We have the Barbarian King coming out, the Arch Queen's down. Barbarian King should go down super fast as well. There goes one golem, there goes the second one. Uh, more wall breakers. Uh, there you see what I was talking about. They're kind of going for these different edges. I just wanted them to go for the top one so that we make a nice path to the center. Uh, but it looks like we're going to have a few wall breakers just go way too far off. Um, anyways, the wizards as well, I mean, oh my gosh, it's so hard to make troops go towards the center if you don't clear out the buildings on the outside. And that's something that I'm still trying to improve that. Um, I'm sorry guys for the lack of videos, I understand that's been an issue, and uh, with the lack of videos, I obviously don't raid that much, and I kind of get bad at it, believe it or not, so <laughs> I have to raid a few times to get the hang of it again. But anyways, it looks like we're clearing the path towards the center, hopefully the Archer Queen decides to head back towards the Town Hall. Uh, Barbarian King doesn't seem like he wants to go there, he's kind of going to go around and take a few uh, defenses out, but that's, that's also good, it's a good thing. Uh, dropped a rage spell there, I was hoping to maybe turn the Barbarian King back over. And the, the Arch Queen's going to take out the Inferno Tower, that is down now. Looks like a few wizards left, but that multiple Inferno is going to kill him off. Uh, we do have a break towards the center, no more rage spell, and guys, this is going to be pretty darn close. Look at the health of the Archer Queen. Uh, her health is going way down, way faster than the Town Hall, and we're going to get super close. All right, and she's actually going to die off. That's going to be the end of the raid. It's 46%. Maybe I should save a few archers for the next time. That's a lesson learned. And here's our next one. Now, these bases here, I now learned that it's actually pretty difficult to get your heroes and golems to go towards the center of the base due to that uh, big section in the center that's got no buildings or just about no buildings. And it pretty much what, the way it's designed is to make your troops just run around the base because uh, the buildings on the outside are way closer than the center core. So that's the way the AI of the troop, troops currently works. But I'm going to go ahead and lure out the heroes. Uh, there comes the Archer Queen. Uh, you kind of have to be careful about the way to play your witches. Sometimes the skeletons decide to go for a building instead of like going for the heroes, and it ends up that your witches are completely open up to the Archer Queen, which is not a good thing. But in this case, we're fine. we got two golems going right down the center. I uh, got some wall breakers coming there. They just broke to the center, or not the center yet, but the first compartment to the center. We got some clan castle troops coming out. There was really no way to lure them out before the battle started. So now we're going to use a lightning spell and go ahead and let some of my wizards take care of them because wizards are actually very good at splash damaging the clan castle troops. All right now, at this point, the heroes are looks like they're going towards the center. They are going towards the center, but because there's no center hole broken through, they're going to go ahead and go to the outside. And at this point, I really realized I just missed my chance to have him go towards the town hall and they're gonna go around around the base and that means we're <laughs> pretty much guaranteed 50% but nothing else so unfortunately I am going to have to sit and watch them go ahead and take care of that 50% it's gonna be slow and painful to watch 
because all that hard work for just 50%. I know, so disappointing. Anyways, at least we come away with something. I mean, we're not losing trophies. And I'm sorry about that blue bar coming up. Uh, that's my recording software. I'm not sure who it does that. I think it's because of me moving my mouse, but I try not to do that. So uh, I'll see what I can do about that, but it's not too much of a distraction. I hope so. All right, so 47% uh, should be no biggie taking care of the air defense, the the elixir storage and then maybe the gold storage or the archer tower and then I'll cut it there to save the health of the heroes. Okay, we're at 50%. Let's go ahead and cut it here and that should be it. Okay, let's see what we came away with. Eight trophies. Ooh, good resources. Maybe not a lot of dark elixir, but still that's a pretty good uh, elixir count. Okay, so here is actually a replay by one of the clan elders, D4KK. He's gonna be using the balloon and minion strategy. He's attacking a maxed out base, which I thought was very awesome. And he's gonna go and wipe right through it. Uh, he's got all five rage spells, so that's gonna help out a lot. Clan castle troops coming out, but because the balloons fall after they die, that's a lot of splash damage. Um, plus the minions, man, they poop o ev over everything. Clan castle troops, buildings, heroes, they just poop on them. It doesn't even matter. They can't do anything about it. Look at those skeletons die off to those pooping minions. Is that even PG rated? I don't think so. I'm just kidding. All right, so anyways, we're at 38%, 39. We're going by pretty fast. And at this point, we don't have clan castle troops. We have a lot of the base taken out. A lot of defense is gone. Um, and I would actually be a little bit worried here because I see that wizard tower, it's taking care of all those minions and another hit and all the minions are gone. So now we're relying on the barbarian king and the archer queen and a few wizards that are left over. 48% uh, getting very, very close. Um, still at 48%, the archer queen's coming over and because she has some good range, she's going to be able to not get hit by the inferno, not get hit by the wizard tower or the tesla. And that's going to get us the 50%. Uh, even 52. He's gonna cut it here to save her health. Looks like that's a great amount of trophies considering the uh, how much upgraded the base was. And here is another replay. It is a defense. Uh, I've been experimenting kind of with base designs. This is my base design. I do not recommend copying it down. It's pretty bad actually. And that's another reason why my base is currently a southern teaser design. It's by another top player. He had like 17 defensive wins. So I said, why not copy it off and see how it goes? Uh, I'm not sure if he was cheap shielding or not. Cheap shielding guys is when your clan mate attacks you in the top player league and pretty much make sure that you don't lose too many trophies, but you still get your 12 hour shield. So that's cheap shielding. But uh, anyways, hopefully the base that I currently have is actually pretty good. So far it's one loss and one win, so I'll give it a few more chances. But uh, let's go ahead and check out what the guy's doing here. So he's using some golems and some archer combinations to take out the buildings on the outside. I'm guessing he's going for 50%. This is definitely not a base that you can really like three star. It's not that bad of a base. Most of the time people just one star me. When it was a two star, it was an attack through the bottom. Um, this is like version three of my design. My previous versions had a very, very strong uh, top section, um, but uh, none of them were really that good, uh, at least in my opinion. All right, so the guy's at 27%. We got 46 seconds remaining in the replay, so he's gonna have to hurry up a little bit. Um, looks like he's using some archers and heroes. I think the, the, the reason he didn't really succeed in this attack is because he was going a little too slow and I think he spread out his troops a little too much uh, everywhere. Like when I attack, the maximum sides I attack on or the maximum attack points I have is two. This guy has like 360 attack radius. So uh, I actually like attacking at one point, but as I said, maximum is two for me. Uh, and this guy's really not following that. And that's one of the reasons why he's not going to be able to even get to 50% nor the town hall. So pretty much he's not going to be able to do anything. He's just going to let the time expire. And uh, that is it for him. Let's see who is it. It's pur uh, purple fam. All right. And let's go ahead and move on to the next raid. Okay. So this time I'm attacking this base here. Yet another base that kind of hopes that your troops are going around the base. But... The reason that doesn't really work with this one is because we actually have buildings on that center section that's kind of separating the outside and the inside core and that's going to actually help us go towards the center. 
Now, since all the troops here in the clan castle are archers, that's going to be pretty easy to take them out with just one lightning spell. Uh, we have the heroes uh, triggered, so now all I'm going to have to do is deploy a few archers for them to go outside of the walls. And then I messed up a little bit on this one. I'm not sure what went down, but pretty much out of seven witches that I usually carry, only two are going to be remaining towards the end of taking out the heroes. And it's one of those things that where I said where some skeletons go off to a different hero. And as you see, the Archer Queen just has a direct path to hitting the witches. We have three witches left. Yet another witch goes down. But this time, all the skeletons are focused on the queen. And we are left with two witches, which is not too great. Um, I wish I had all seven left, at least six. Uh, but we'll see how this affects the raid. At least the golems are actually going towards the center. Uh, because there are no defenses that are farther or that are closer than the ones in the center core. Okay, so I'm going to drop a rage spell for the reason of wall breakers coming there. Uh, wall breakers are very good with rage spells. You can boost them up, especially if it's like a maxed out base. Rage spells help a ton. Um, even though you see it's a multiple target inferno, we're able to break through that center. You got the golems going in there. You got the heroes as well. It's going great so far. Hopefully we'll be able to clutch 50% on this one. Uh, although the Barbarian King seems to be going to the outside, we're just going to hope that the Queen goes for the Town Hall. And that is exactly what's happening. The Golems are covering her. Uh, Barbarian King, don't know what he's doing, probably just going for 50%. And now the Town Hall's down, we're at 34%. But because we're lacking troops, I'm going to go ahead and cut it here. And that's going to give us 10 uh, trophies, 35%, and an okay loot. Alright, so the, the thing I wanted to show you guys here is, this is actually my defense login. What I'm trying to do is revenge, and it's it, this is how it is here at 3,000 trophies. Everybody's either online or on a shield. And that's going to be it for this video, guys. I thank you for watching. Once again, check out the free gems by Free My Apps. It's a great service. It's bit.ly forward slash Madden Gems. Capitalize the M and the G. And check out the previous video. Subscribe to me if you're not yet a subscriber. Check out my Facebook and Twitter for updates. And that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this one. Peace.